While unveiling his agenda, the SDP gubernatorial candidate Ibrahim Zakari Ibrahim expressed concern over how insecurity, if not checked, can hamper any meaningful development. I mean, security, everybody knows security is very vast. And uh, I would like to talk on just one or two steps that we intend taking to at least change the security station of our dear state. And uh, secondly, we intend to engage the community. Communities meaning we have to go back to the old age. Why by you start from the grassroots, from, uh, as they say, Mingua to Haikimi to Sarki before coming to the state level? Because they are the ones that know people that reside in them. If elected, he will use more than technology in tackling insecurity in the state. Using cutting edge tools. Gone are the days where you buy weapons, this and that and that. I mean, you can stay here we are in America, you can shoot down somebody in Lagos. He doesn't need to see you. And you can monitor him with this CCTV and satellites and there's everything. All other countries all over the world are using this, but yet we're still using the old ways of scaring lives. He equally lamented on how bottlenecks stifled some of the investment he brought to Kazina while serving as honorary special advisor on investment and foreign relations to Governor Masari. My team and I brought Velisco from Holland. The CEO was in Nigeria. He was in Kazina. He made our governor. And of course, he wanted to set up the Velisco factory in Malumfashi, this Holland uh, fabric that our ladies wear. But unfortunately, he didn't see the light of the day. Probably from the federal government and the state government, I'm not too sure, but I believe it's the federal government that uh, put a bottleneck along the line. And a major one is the refinery issue, which everybody is aware of. We single-handedly went to Nigeria Republic with the friends, with our friends, spoke to the Nigerian government. They gave us their approval and given us the first stop. The first stop is a crude oil. And uh, of course, again, another bottleneck from the federal government just to give us the right of way. That's why it has not seen the, the light of the day. Later that evening, he led a delegation, including his running mate, to the Nigerian Drug Law Enforcement Agency for integrity drug screening test. <laughs> Jamil Mubay, Trust Television, Katsina.